adding links and formatted text along with images into the discussion board. I have more students having this problem. It's ridiculous how simple this is. So we're going to go through it one more time and I want to explain why it is important to care about this. In a forum discussion board, we want to post links in order for people to be able to see our work. Uh, for example, here's a poor example of a link. I have to take this link, I have to copy it to the very top, and then paste it in here, and then hit enter. Nobody's going to take the time to do that, really. Um, in Especially in the discussion board or any forum out there, it's just one of those things. People have like a 0.2 second attention span, so we have to abide by that and make good links for them. Here's a good example of it. Here's a link that you can click on and it pops up your work. That is correct. Okay, so in order to do this or do something like this with formatted text or images, we rely on uh, Google Docs, at least I do. So if you go to gmail.google.com and sign up for a new account for Gmail, you have now access to Google Docs. It is a product that's been around for like eight odd years. It's amazing. And then I still have students that don't even know what it is. It's sad. So Google Docs, um, go up here to your area where you can search for or go to different places within Google. And here's Google Drive. You can create a new document. I just happen to have one right here. It's called Scratchpad. I keep that on hand so I can paste images over to the discussion board. Okay, uh, Control A will highlight everything. I can delete it. And then what I'm going to do is just give you an example of um, a link. So I, I got this link. This is an action figure I created. I want people to see it. I'll copy that and bring it over to my scratch pad and paste it in. Um, if you right click paste it's going to give you an error message but if you control V on the keyboard and then hit enter it'll give you a link. This link I can highlight, copy, again use your shortcut keys because it has a hard time with not using them. So the shortcut key for copy is control C. In here I'll go to edit this and control V enter and post a message so there it is now I can totally format all my text if I wanted to let's say I wanted to write a paragraph or a description around that I could totally do that within Scratchpad. I can even spell check. Go figure, right? And now if I wanted this blue or yellow and I wanted it uh, 30, I can now copy that. Go back here. I can edit it and paste it right in. And again, I have to go back and then forth and able to see that new text change. It works with images also. Let's say I have an image within Photoshop I want to share. Okay, there's two different ways to do that. Here's in Photoshop, I can like save this image out, save it for web. Save it onto my like desktop. I can go back to my scratch pad and I can insert the image. Okay, then I can highlight all or highlight just the image. Control C and then go back, edit, control A, control B, and post the image. Again, highlighting out, highlighting it back in, 
you see that change. If you have the snippet tool, let's say I want to share this image. Well, I could do it this way. I can new snippet within Windows, snip the area, edit, copy it. Again, rely on Google Documents. If you highlight this one, I'll hit enter. And there's the new one. Again, I can control C that, go back here, edit it. Post the image. So any link, any link to any website within the, the world can be posted here. But you'd be surprised on how many times I've had to teach this this exact example. So here you go. Here's the year 2014 version of how to post images and links to the discussion board here at IADT. Enjoy.